Okay, we found the components don't make a good connection in here, so we're going to utilize the socket that came with it. Go ahead and install that, Ryan. Okay, we're going to try just a few components. Try one of these diodes right there. Okay, so it shows it as a diode. It shows the uh, forward voltage, the capacitance of it, and the terminals that we're in, which is one and three. Now, one thing we did notice on here, all these similar numbers are electrically the same. So that one right there is the same as this one here. Those two threes are the same, and they're equal to this. So if you were to put a component in, say, for example, three and three, do that, Ryan. Make sure it goes in one of these threes and the other three. Mm -hmm. You'll see that it actually won't give you an accurate reading. Alright, so he's in two different threes right now. And it'll probably come up unknown or whatnot. Yeah, so unknown. So we kind of figured that out. And that's true of our other tester, which we'll look at in another video. It's got it's got several ones, top and bottom. So the top one's equal to the bottom one, and it's also equal to the other ones. And you can see the three by three are side by side. So let's take a look at another component. That uh, just try electrolytic capacitor. And let's see if it shows us the ESR and the voltage loss. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. So ESR 0.21. The capacitance and the voltage loss. Okay, so, all right, let's do something. Let's try one of these. We did notice it only do two components. This is a three-color LED, but it will only do two of them. It'll recognize it as two diodes. So throw that in there. So we bent one of the pins. I believe the blue one <clears throat> we bent up. Let's check this out. So it's kind of cool, it flashes the colors as it's checking forward and reverse. And supposedly it won't put enough voltage in the wrong direction to do any harm. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So you can see the uh, the forward voltage of, you can see the two pins, the common, and then one and three, and it shows you the voltage of the different colors. So that's, that's kind of handy if you have a lot of, like we've got some infrared, some ultraviolet, Stuff like that. Let's take a look at one of the pots. The potentiometer. Okay, so that one's, it looks like a uh, 500,000 ohm. So... Take this pot stick and just turn it, like one turn, any direction. Okay, now hit the button again and we'll see that value change. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. So if you have a bunch of these laying around, you can throw it in there real quick. You just add up the two. It sees it as two separate resistors. Shows you the common. Now, if we move that over, it will actually show you a different. See the one, two, three. If we move it over to a different location and hit test, it'll show a different pin out. Okay, now let's try something like an SCR. Throw that in there. So, if you don't know what that is, you really have to punch that number in. 
in Google to find out what that is. There's no way just to, unless you have it memorized because you deal with it every day. So that's pretty cool. It shows one, two, three is the pinout for the um, cathode, anode, and gate. So if we were actually to switch that around, you would see the order would be different. GAC. Okay, so it does reverse. Um, my only problem is that that is a little loose in there. I'm tempted to glue it because I don't see the need to ever take it off. To be quite honest, and um, I could always take some cheap jumpers, tin the end, and stick those in here if need be. So we'll take a a deeper look at this in another video and then we'll compare it to this and some of the other test equipment um, and then we'll break we'll open this up that's what I'm most interested in for these large electrolytic capacitors and drives and the ESR reading this gives you ESR readings I believe these are fairly accurate but they're mainly for identifying components this a little more for the values um, We'll take a better look at that in the future.